Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to RNG manipulate the notoriously broken Pokemon Emeralds uh, RNG. Uh, this is separate from Ruby and Sapphire and separate from Fire and Leaf Green because while those games do work similar, they are not identical. So I think it's worth uh, Emerald having its own video. N uh, on top of that, um, this is going to be a basic coverage of wild RNG manipulation. So I'm just going to be going for a quick shiny here. Uh, you could use this to get whatever nature you want, or some IVs, or even just a specific Pokemon, uh, instead of, you know, running around for, like, a rare one percenter. Um, this isn't going to incorporate anything like the battle record, or, like, arbitrary code execution, or anything like that. Um, although you might need the ladder to figure out your secret ID, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so before we actually begin the video, you're going to need a few things uh, in your game, and you're going to need a few things for your computer. Uh, in your game, you're going to need a Pokemon with the move Sweet Scent. This causes an automatic encounter. So I have an Oddish here with Sweet Scent. They're all over the place. You can catch them on, I think it's Route 114. It would probably be the route I met this guy, yeah. Oh, Route 110. Uh, and they come with Sweet Scent at that level, so. Uh, you're also going to need some rare candies. Um, as long as you have one, it's easy to have many in this game because there is a very easy to do clone glitch. I have three here. You're not going to need much more than that unless the Pokemon is a really, really low level. Um, and you should have some Pokeballs as well. I have a lot of them. Um, and you're going to need to know your secret ID. Uh, now, your trainer ID is just on your trainer card. Really simple. Uh, you can find that right away. Um, but if you want a shiny, you need your secret ID as well. And your secret ID is a hidden value. And the only way you can find it is if you either have a shiny already, uh, you can deduce its... Um, IVs exactly and then you can figure out your secret ID um, you could also use arbitrary code execution to just either change your secret ID to whatever you want it or to show you your secret ID uh, and lastly if you're starting a new game you can actually watch Pokemon trainer choppy's video on how to figure out your secret ID while you're starting a new game it's like a very niche kind of specific situation but if you are starting a new save file you can watch that video uh, but either way uh, you only need your secret ID if you're going specifically for a shiny, which I will be doing in this video. Uh, out of game, you're going to need two programs. You're going to need Eon Timer 3.0, um, and you're going to set it to the Gen 3 tab. You're also going to set the calibration to zero, uh, the pre-timer to 5,000, and we'll cover what to do with the target frame in a minute. Then you're going to click the settings cog, and uh, in the timer tab, you're going to make sure you pick the right from the console drop down so i'm on nds dash gba uh, you pick that if you're playing on a nintendo ds using the second slot you pick gba if you're on any game boy advanced system so game boy advanced uh, game boy advanced sp game boy micro or the game boy player all of these are you pick gba uh, but i'll be picking nds dash gba Uh, then the other program you'll need is PokeFinder. PokeFinder, uh, you click the Gen 3 uh, button to go to Gen 3 Wild. Um, and this is a whole program that helps you figure out what uh, frame you're aiming for, what frame you can hit, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it also has an IV calculator, which we will use to figure out uh, how close or far away from our target that we are. Uh, now, you have to make a profile in the manager section here. Uh, and then once you do that, you can type your secret ID in, your game in, and stuff like that. And uh, it'll all pop up and fill that out automatically. For the method dropdown, we're going to select method H2. Uh, method H2 is by far the most common method in Emerald version. Uh, and it's going to be what you're going to search for a predominant amount of your spreads for. Uh, if you can't find your spread when you're searching for like what frame you hit, you actually could hit method H1 or method H4. They're just kind of rare. Uh, except if you're RNG manipulating in a swarm. Uh, swarms predominantly use method H1, and they sometimes use method H4, and I've never seen a swarm that was using method H2. So, if you're using uh, swarms uh, to get a Pokemon that you want, then you're going to use uh, method H1. Change the location to wherever you are. I think I'm on Route 121 right now. I actually have to check. Now, the Pokemon dropdown, you can pick uh, if you want a specific Pokemon shiny. I actually don't care which Pokemon I, I'm going to get. Um, then for this section, you're going to pick whatever you want. Um, I will warn you that Rock Smash is a little bit different than all the other ones. I'm actually going to make a separate video covering Rock Smash. So, be wary of that. 
but all the other ones they would work as you expected they just changed the encounter slots basically oops scroller 121 uh initial advances leave it zero and max advances uh you can leave it this seed type uh zero there make sure it says zero there uh, and then for here, you can type in what IVs you're kind of looking for. Although I'll warn you, you're not going to find anything very good. <laughs> and then you can do the same thing here. Pick the ability that you want, gender, gender ratio, all that kind of good stuff. Um, encounter slot don't touch because picking a Pokemon uh, will change the encounter slot automatically. As you can see here, it changes to zero when I pick Poochana. Um, the shiny box, it's got a few options. It's got any, star, square, star, square. Any just means a shiny, a star shiny, or a square shiny, uh, or no shiny. <laughs> a star means uh, when you transfer to sword and shield, it'll be a star shiny. Square means when you transfer to sh sword and shield, it'll be a square shiny. And star slash square means that um, it'll it'll search for either a star or a square shiny. For delay, you're going to check that box. And if you're outside, you're going to do 261 as your delay. If you're in a cave, you're going to do 268. Then you're going to hit generate. So I have a uh, shiny frame on frame 6,884. So we're going to hover over that. We're going to hit control C to copy it. Then we're going to paste it in the target frame in Eon Timer. Then you're going to hit start on Eon Timer. And Eon Timer is going to count down from five. And it's going to beep a few times. On the final beep, you're going to soft reset your game. Uh, once you soft reset, you're just going to uh, go through as quickly as you can into the menu in order to um, hover over the sweet scent for Oddish. Oops, I went into the bag by accident. So, uh, I'm going to hover over sweet scent and the timer is going to count down. And when the timer hits zero, you're going to hit A on sweet scent in order to start the encounter. And if you're lucky on your first try, you could get a shiny, but you probably won't. Now, if we take a look at my encounter slot here while we're waiting for this to count down, it says slot five. So I could figure out what Pokemon that is by scrolling through the Pokemon here. <laughs> so it seems that uh, Oddish is encounter slot five, funnily enough. So I could get a shiny Oddish here. So that means that uh, advances, uh, 6,884 advances, is always going to be an Oddish. This frame on this route, it'll always be an Oddish. Pokemon can change via uh, different routes and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry too much about finding something unique or different or anything like that. Uh, you can always find unique Pokemon by changing routes. Um, a common misconception is that Emerald uh, is like Ruby and Sapphire, where the dead battery matters. It actually doesn't. Emerald's RNG will not be fixed by fixing its battery, and uh, the battery dying does not break the RNG. It's just kind of, it's just kind of bored and broken. Uh, so our timer is about to hit zero. So when you hit A here, you're going to get an encounter. Now, like I said, your first try probably won't be shiny, but. Um, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is throw a Master Ball in order to catch the Shuppet and figure it out. So while the animation is happening, we're going to open the IV calculator in Pokefinder. It's in the lower right-hand corner of my screen. And we're already going to start some figuring out here. So it's level 26. And let's check out our Shuppet here. So it's an impish nature. Uh, we don't have characteristics. And we type in all of these stats. And hit find IVs. So this is going to give us the IV ranges of the Shuppet. A Pokemon this high level, uh, you really don't need to use any rare candies, but I will use some anyway. So it's going to show us more stats. I'm going to click add row and I'm going to add the next level of stats. 69 HP, 51 attack, 29 
defense 37 special attack 23 special defense and 34 speed and i'm gonna click find ivs again as you can see the range of ivs that it could potentially be have gotten much narrower so with all of this information what we can do is type the ivs into the filter section here so it's got to have 31 hp 21 through 23 attack uh 4 12 to 14 defense and special attack for special defense and 18 through 21 speed we're going to change shiny to any and then we're going to make our target advances here we're going to make it we're going to copy that and paste it into initial advances and we're going to make it about uh 200 less so initial advances should be 200 less than whatever your target advances are and hit generate so as you can see we only got two possible frames and we can figure out uh which uh, one it is by checking out the encounter slot and by checking the level. Those are the only two things that are going to be different between the Pokemon. Uh, so, first we can look at encounter slot. So, encounter slot 4 is a Mighty Yenna. That already means that we could not have hit it because, um, you know, Mighty Yenna is not the Pokemon that we caught. And then if you hover over Shup it, encounter slot 1, level 26, matches up perfectly with what we are looking for. So, we're going to copy this number here. And we're going to paste it into Eon Timer's Frame Hit button. Hit Update. And then we're going to start Eon Timer and retry it again. Um, this time I'm going to pause during the wait so you guys don't have to watch this entire process. With only a few seconds left. We get another attempt. And hopefully our target appears. So we got a Mighty Yenna. Now a quick way to do an assessment of what we caught without calculating the IVs. Um, is we're going to reset the filters here. And then we're going to generate. And we're going to catch the Mighty Yenna. Oops. So it's a level 28 Mighty Yenna. And our target frame is... I forget, 6884 or something like that. Yeah. So let's check the Pokemon out. So it's Sassy. It's a Sassy Mariana and it's level 28. So what we can do is look around the natures of the Pokemon that we caught after our first adjustment and see. So, I see a sassy level 28 Pokemon here already, and Mighty Anna is in counter slot 20, or is 24, is in counter slot 4, so I would say it's highly likely we were 4 frames early. So you can make another adjustment by copying that and putting it into Eon Timer and hitting update again. Uh, and we can just give it another whirl. And just like last time, I'm not going to watch, make you guys watch this entire process, so I'll wait until the last few seconds. Alright, uh, now that I'm close to the time, I'm going to lower the volume and listen to the beeps to focus. And hopefully after our calibration attempts and all that jazz, we are close enough to our frame to hit it. And there you go, a shiny Oddish. Uh, we used a Oddish to get a shiny Oddish. I actually don't have a good way of catching this thing. I don't want to burn my Master Ball on it, but we'll see. Because, <laughs> all right, I'll catch it. It's not like I don't have other Emerald versions with other Master Balls in them. So if we check it, it's going to have the correct nature that Pokefinder would list. So it's bold. As you can see, my shiny frame was bold. And we can also do the stack calculations, uh, the IV calculator. So let's open that up. So we have an Oddish. We can remove row. Level 26. It's actually the proper level. And we can find IVs. 
Oh, the nature is wrong. It's bold. I don't know where bold is. There you go. Find IVs again. So as you can see, when you take a look at all of this stuff, uh, when you take a look at the stats here and you compare them to the stats in the Gen 3 Wild tab, they are going to line up correctly. And you now know the stats and all that of the Pokemon that you've caught. And there you go. Uh, I hope this was helpful for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next video. Please leave any questions or comments down below. And uh, if you want to show support, please consider uh, becoming a channel member or subscribing on my Twitch or uh, just subscribing on YouTube or sharing this video around with friends to show them the wonders of RNG manipulation. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you later.